here to discuss ProShares Global Investment Strategist, Simeon Hyman. Simeon, it's great to have you with us. Um, let me get this right. The expense ratio for, your, for this ETF is 2%. Is that right? Uh, 95 basis points for the ETF. And in fact, that uh, actually stacks up quite favorably. I mean, it's very difficult to short Bitcoin. And if you could pull it off at one of the exchanges, the cost to borrow go up to as high as 20 percent. So we're really pleased to offer this solution for offering short exposure to uh, Bitcoin. And of course, that is the perfect pair to BITO, the right. long futures based ETF that we launched last fall. Right. So, I mean, the expense ratio is under 1 percent. Is that what you just said? Yeah, 95 basis points, correct. Okay, great. So why now then, after Bitcoin has fallen off so much, it feels like the other one, the long futures ETF, Bitcoin ETF, was launched near the peak. This one, some might say, is being launched potentially near the bottom. Yeah, we really had no intent to, to time this with the market. We wanted to deliver the solutions to investors. And one of the things that we've seen, particularly with this uh, I love the, the uh, euphemism volatility for, for Bitcoin of the last several months is that it's exposed some challenges in the system. You know, it's not just collateral risk and weird things going on in the lending platforms, but simply owning Bitcoin in a spot account in an exchange, as we've learned, may be exposed to potential bankruptcy risk. And investing in the futures market through an ETF is a perfect belt and suspenders, whether you're on the long or the short side, because counterparty risk is managed by the futures exchange. And of course, a 40 act fund, the ETF managed under the Securities Act of 1940, those aggregate, uh, those uh, assets are segregated as well. So it wasn't a, a it, it was really just as quickly as we could put these solutions together. They're not any sense of market timing. Yes, I mean, it, it's such uh, an important product, it seems to me. But, but so much of the crypto system doesn't look healthy. It seems like every other week we're hearing about, you know, some key player in the system that's locking up customer accounts or, um, you know, their, their system isn't working the way that they said it would. What are customers, what have customers been saying to you about what they need to feel secure in this market that helped lead to this short Bitcoin ETF uh, coming out now? Well, I think this just keeps pointing to the advantages of exposure through futures. You know, one of the things that we learned with Bitto on the long side is that those roll costs that people have been talking about, the cost of rolling one futures contact, contract to the next has come way down. So, in fact, if you look at a futures index compared to spot year to date, that gap has shrunk to almost nothing. And what that indicates potentially is actually the growing health of the futures market. So absolutely, you know, the, the old saying of what happens when the tide goes in, but the tide going in is demonstrating the maturity and the strength of, the, of futures based exposure. And again, putting that in the ETF wrapper on, wrapper on top uh, that you can just buy in your brokerage account is certainly a solution that's starting to look even more appealing compared to some of the other approaches that are out there in the marketplace. Now, Samina, I also think it's important to stress that this is a market, not a church. And there are a lot of uh, traders, retail traders in particular, who it seems to me have gotten religion about certain assets um, and, and feel personally slighted that anybody would have a different feeling about them and their direction than they do. Some people are going to see this as you attacking Bitcoin uh, when, in fact, th there's a long ETF that you've, also, uh, that you've also released. What's your sense of what's needed in this market right now and why the opportunity to short might be important? The strength of a market is always made by the fact that there's a market with people of different opinions at any point in time. Even the S&P 500, you know, perhaps the greatest source of wealth, source of wealth creation uh, of all time, of course, we know doesn't go straight up all the time. And we at ProShares offer short exposure to the S&P 500, which mm -hmm. there would be almost no one who wouldn't suggest that that's going up ultimately over the years and years and years. So, you know, no one should take it as a slight, but we absolutely <laughs> think it was very important to offer the short and the long side. Again, we've had the yeah. long side out since the fall with, great, uh, uh, with mm -hmm. great success there. And we want people to have the opportunity to also hedge their positions in their portfolio when they think, even if it's just a, a short-term opportunity for Bitcoin to go the other way.
Yeah, absolutely, Samia. Well said. And I'm sure some in the crypto space were wishing they had a way to short or hedge that exposure over the last few months. Thank you for being with us. Samia Hyman of ProShares.